Hey guys, I hope you're not tired of this videos about the MDG Power 3 smartphone. I think you have been waiting for today's video because we are going to talk about camera. Camera is one of the main features of MDG Power 3 because there are four sensors on the back. Yes, yeah, this budget smartphone has a quad camera. However, I think you're interested in the photo and video quality, not the number of sensors. I took pictures in different shooting modes, including portrait, wide angle, and some night photos. Before we start, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. First, I want to remind you the camera specifications. UMDG Power 3 has 48 megapixels main sensor with f1.78 aperture, 13 megapixels wide angle lens, 5 megapixels depth camera, and 5 megapixels macro camera. The front camera has 16 megapixels sensor. The camera app looks like this. As usual, there is a shutter button, gallery icon, and change to front camera icon at the bottom. Also, you can choose the shooting modes – slow motion, video, photo, 48 megapixels, portrait, panorama, and beauty. If you want to use wide-angle or macro mode, then choose photo, and there will be icon on the left and right. At the top, there is a settings menu – AI, HDR, and flashlight. The settings menu has following options – scene mode, anti-shake, self-timer, picture size, and others. As you can see, the maximum picture size is 48 megapixels or 8000 by 6000 pixels. The maximum video resolution is Full HD. As you can see, there is no image stabilization function in the settings menu. Finally, let's take a look at real photos. As I expected, the photos on the main 48 megapixels camera are very good. They are bright, clear, and high detailed. Photos on a 13 megapixels wide angle camera are also good in a sunny weather like mine. I am surprised by wide-angle shots every time. This is probably the best feature of the mobile camera in the recent times. The selfie camera is OK. As I already said, UMDG Power 3 has only 5 megapixels of bokeh sensor, so the portrait photos are poor. As you can see on this picture, the camera blurs the background around me very bad. Also, I couldn't take macro photos. I tried to take picture of the grass at a distance of 2 cm, but the camera was out of focus. The manufacturer says about super amazing night mode, but I didn't see it. The photos at night on the main 48 megapixels camera is just okay. 
However, these shots on wide-angle camera are terrible. You should forget about the wide-angle mode at night. If we talk about video shooting, the quality is good on both the main sensor and wide-angle camera. But the main problem is the lack of video stabilization. If you stand still, you can shoot a quite smooth video, but if you go, the video will shake a lot. The video footage at night is very bad, especially when you move the film. So, in general, I am satisfied with camera of this $140 smartphone. Yes, the portrait photos are bad, while the macro camera doesn't work at all. But 48 megapixels images and wide-angle photos are pretty good. The video shooting is also nice, but only in daytime. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was useful for you. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.